Hello and welcome to Qatar 365, the show that offers an inside look around Doha and the surrounding areas. I'm Miranda Ratti and on this episode, we're exploring one of the fastest growing global industries, the health and wellness sector. So let's get then. Coming up, we visit the Middle East's largest holistic health resort, speak to one of Qatar's leading wellness pioneers, and discover down-to-earth living at an eco-conscious farm. Here in the northernmost and windiest tip of Qatar is the largest wellness resort in the Middle East, Zulao. More than 280,000 square meters are dedicated to pioneering a holistic health concept that combines traditional Arabic medicines with therapeutic and lifestyle treatments. Let's check it out. From the minute you enter Zulao Wellness Resort, you're encouraged to use all your senses. From tasting special calming tea poured on arrival, to diving into the myriad health and well-being books on offer at the House of Wisdom. We want guests to disconnect from the day-to-day -day problems just in order to connect with themselves or to connect with the, their kids, with their spouse, with their husbands. Because when you come to a wellness resort, you're coming to a place where it's about me time. Well, I always say to everyone, investing in your well-being is like placing your money into a bank, you know, that you always keep your money aside for when you, you grow old. So taking care of yourself is, is the same concept, same principle. You invest in your wellness now and you collect the fruits when you grow old. Each guest visits a consultation room and explains what they'd like to achieve from their stay. We have three medical doctors. One is a dermatologist and the rest are regular MDs. Then we have another 12. One is a children's psychologist or we have people trained in traditional Arabic Islamic medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, Thai traditional herbal medicine or naturopaths. You meet with one of them to do a wellness consultation we put a program together for you. So everybody is made to feel that they are special. From yoga to hammams, to massage, or a relaxing moment in the Himalayan salt room, thought to remove impurities and alleviate or even prevent illness, Zulal invites guests to experience the six wellness pillars through treatments and activities. We have uh, physio, physiotherapy, we have fitness, we have aesthetic, we have spa, we have nutrition and uh, holistic. So these are the six pillars. So we basically take care of uh, um, body, mind and soul. But where wellness spaces normally cater only to adults, this resort makes a welcome exception. Uh, most resorts and wellness resorts around the world only caters to adults. At the same time, we have the family side, which is for children in all age groups. Here at Solal Wellness Resort, we have a digital detox policies, and it will really give you time to be fully present, to inhale, to connect with your family and chat and really do something together, whether it is that you do a yoga class together as a family, whether it is that you go and plant a mangrove together as a family, but all together to, to bond, as you see it in the ancient times, before there was all this high tech. So it's a really good opportunity and chance to really uh, disconnect, to reconnect with your family and loved ones. Whether you find that connection in the pool or walking the land, Zulal aims for total spectrum healing. And with a minimum two night stay for adults, you will leave with customized diet and exercise programs, giving you the tools to change your lifestyle and truly practice wellness for the long term. Jawahar Al Fadan is a wellness entrepreneur responsible for some of Qatar's most popular venues, from delicious vegan cafes to yoga studios and exercise clubs. And I've come here to Nia Yoga to find out more about her passion for fitness, food, 
and health. Hi, Juju. So I was a psychologist uh, about eight years ago, practicing in more of a clinical setting. I was working with uh, patients and I found that the lifestyle did not support a conscious way of living. Um, what are people eating? How are they living? What are they doing on a day-to-day -day basis? And through that, um, we can really avoid a lot of the issues that we find. Tell us a bit more about you know, all of your businesses and how they combine to create a kind of holistic health centre. So I've had the honour to offer um, yoga and movement and meditation um, and a lot of alternative therapies through this space, which is Nia Yoga. Um, I've also created with my partner and my team a few other movement studios, including an indoor cycling space, but it's so much more than indoor cycling. It's more of a complete cathartic experience into the self. So it very much is an inner journey. As risky as it may sound, my philosophy is create the space and people will show up. You know, create the offering and the people that are, uh, are searching will find you. What about the pandemic? What impact do you think that's had? It was such a difficult time for most businesses and for every person. It was a difficult time. But I think it made us reevaluate our priorities. A and B really understand and redefine what health meant for each of us. And um, I think pre pandemic, there was no real understanding of the importance of slowing down. So if you really want to just look at it on a superficial level, you're doing your body more harm um, and good by not balancing out your yin and your yang. You need to go and you need to rest. And lastly, what tips would you give anyone really looking to either understand a little bit more about wellness or perhaps get more into the wellness space themselves? The body speaks what the rest of the self is trying to say. So if we would choose to listen, then we have all the answers right there. And it's not just luxurious resorts that offer tourists a chance to nurture their health. Hidden amongst the palms just outside Doha in Al Shahania is a farm focused on a holistic approach to wellness. And as Shahrazad Ghaffour discovered, their main aim is to cultivate an ideal environment for self-improvement. Hina Salma, a place designed to disconnect from busy schedules and reconnect with a more simplistic existence. The sound of the birds and feel of the breeze seem enough to shift negative energy, but the philosophy here incorporates a whole lot more. We want to offer the guests more serenity, calm practices, and access to a special journey. We offer some traditional classical yoga classes, tai chi, qigong, meditation, or sound bath, anything related to trying to reconnect the body and mind together. Guests can also go back to basics, spending the night in tents, or gather around a campfire to forge friendships. For those wanting to focus on the physical, they can mold their muscle in the fresh air, and for some serious relaxation, a therapy space based on a Moroccan traditional dwelling, handmade from natural fabrics. Here in the farm's massage tent, there are four aromatherapy oils to choose from. The traditional cedar, eucalyptus, basil, and blue pea flower. All these oils were created here with organic ingredients grown locally and for the guests to feel a connection to their surroundings. But the healing here starts from within. This is not only about a physical and a material specific of this food, but also how you consume it. You just enjoy the colors and it also gives you pure joy on mental level. It's not only about food, it's not only about the way you're cooking, but also relation of people you are developed to 
uh, make people happy here. In the pedagogical garden that promotes permaculture, growing self-sufficiently and sustainably, we learn about how the workshops here are formulated to enhance mental focus. There is all this observation, working with colors. It's a really slow activities we are offering. So people harvest their own food. So we are bringing more consciousness to our food growth. We connect with the elements, with the beauty also. So when we are outside, we are fully present. Our sense, the smell, when we touch the natural material, it brings us to our nature. We are in the farm. There is no wrong action. We can test the fruits directly. Kids can run. They have some freedom, which they don't have in the urban context. It has a big impact in our sensorial well-being. And as the evening draws to a close, a session to rejuvenate the mind and body on the desert-facing yoga deck. It goes on well into the night. Until the next day, when the journey to well-being starts over again. It's been lovely visiting some of Qatar's spaces dedicated to helping us rejuvenate, reflect and reset. And getting to see the sunset here at Hinat Salma Farm is an absolute highlight. But that's all we've got time for on this episode. If you have any questions, just reach out via our hashtag Qatar365. Thanks for watching. Do check out Euronews.com for more. And join us again next time on Qatar365.